Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Transcriber, which is built into every Windows Mobile touchscreen phone. I think a lot of people forgot about Transcriber. If you watched the Apple Newton video, you may have seen how with the Newton, you can write anywhere on the screen. So you could, you could write the word here, here, and here, or up there, up there, up there, to the side, and it would still understand what you're trying to say. You can write anywhere on the screen. Well, Windows Mobile lets you do the same thing with Transcriber. So let me demonstrate that now. I'm just going to start Start off by going into uh, Pocket Word, okay here we are and the way that you select Transcriber is by clicking the up arrow in the keyboard uh, selection option here and this is the standard HTC keyboard chooser and I've chosen Transcriber. Of course in other devices like the Samsung Omnia it may look a little bit different. So I press the up arrow here and I get, whoops went away. I can just go right to Transcriber. It's the same thing. And over here it actually asks me to kind of learn how to use the different gestures because it's the first time that I've used Transcriber on this device. Okay, so now I'm going to write Hello World. Perfect. And you can use this in other programs too. So if I go into Pocket Internet Explorer, I can write anywhere on the screen to enter a web address. So I can write CNN. There it is. Or I can use this in a contacts program. So if I want to make a new contact, or let's do it in calendar actually. And I do menu, new appointment. And for the subject, I'm just going to write Bob. There we go. Now there are some settings that you can mess around with to get the accuracy of Transcriber to be better. In the bottom left corner here in the Transcriber options, we have this button that will allow us to kind of choose which letters we write in certain ways. And it's a little bit tedious, you have to go through the whole alphabet to do this. But if you get to a letter and you say, uh, you know what, I never write my M like that. You tap on it, and then you select never, and then it gets crossed out. And this way, Transcriber knows to never look to those letters for uh, converting. Um, there, also, there are also some options you can choose. So if we go into this button down there, we can choose um, whether there's sound with this, whether there's an intro screen. If you go to the inking tab, you can select the color of the line, and there's a lot of colors to choose from. You can choose how thick the line is, and right now I have it set on bold, which is kind of three quarters of the way up in terms of size and you can also set how long it takes for it to recognize what you write and I have it set kind of in the middle here because I like it to try to interpret the whole word and pause for a minute to, 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 to recognize it rather than letter by letter because it's not as accurate in that way. So that's pretty much it for Transcriber. It's a really useful feature that lets you write anywhere on the screen and get the text recognition, which is actually pretty good. Um, if you want to find more options and more ways to use it, there are certain gestures you can use to copy and paste, and there are ways to backspace without having to use the backspace down here. You can go into the helps, help option, which is the question mark, and you get lots of, uh, lots of information on how to use the gestures to get the most out of Transcriber. So that's it for now.